So uh, a fair bit's changed um, since I last took any photos of the pond, well the koi pond build anyways. This is the current turtle pond. Um, I've just got a pump over there feeding up to the waterfall. Um, I don't mind that it's pretty green, um, for me it's more natural. As you can see one of the guys just here. Um, I have two redded sliders and a musk which generally sits underneath all the rocks and stuff over there. Um, and then the koi pond itself, uh, I finally flattened it all, well, pretty much flattened it all down. Um, I'll get some underlay on, on, on top of that. Um, got a bottom going in just over there. Um, it has taken me ages, absolutely ages, to, uh, to shift all of this soil. Um, this pond is going to be 14 foot by 8 foot by 4 foot deep. Um, no windows, nothing fancy, um, just something nice to enjoy the koi. Um, so we've got a concrete um, base, then it's going to be three sleepers high. Um, I'll try to slope everything down towards the bottom drain. Uh, now, with the bottom drain, I was a bit unsure. First time building a pond of this scale. Um, but everyone suggested I go for it, so I'm going to take the plunge and who knows. Um, could be a costly mistake, but if it works out, then hopefully um, it means maintenance is a little bit easier on the pond. Um, then that will come out over here. Um, I've still got to concrete this last side. Um, I know I, I should have done it all, all together, but um, I'm young. I'm doing a DIY, so uh, if it takes a little bit longer and isn't done as perfectly as everyone else is building their ponds, then you know, it's just my way of doing it with the budget I have. I think I've done pretty well. Um, so yeah, the sleepers should be arriving Friday. Then we can get those in. Um, then we can take out this this wooden frame. Um, but it's looking pretty good. Um, it's starting to come together now properly. Um, so you can get a full view. Uh, so, turtle pond, nice easy. I'll redo this fence in here. And we have big old koi pond over here. This will eventually be decking area, but we will forget about that for now because I want to get the pond finished. Um, summer's creeping on now and um, yeah, I'd like to sit out and enjoy the pond. Um, I've got a few little koi, um, just in sort of a uh, swimming pool, uh, just temporary. Um, I've had them for a while. This is kind of an upgrade, big upgrade for their pond. And uh, yeah, so hopefully on Friday, sleepers will arrive. I need to order some uh, timber um, screws, um, maybe some ratchet straps, not sure yet. Um, but yeah, it's finally looking like the actual pond, so. Can not wait for it to be finished? A bit more update on the uh, koi pond. Sleepers finally arrived, so we've got two more layers arriving on Thursday. It's Wednesday now, so tomorrow they'll be here. Uh, as you can see now, got the frame laid out. It's ten blocks through then. Um, got the carpet in there. I'll sort the carpet out properly later on when we get north, getting towards the liner. Um, bottom drain is there. Um, had a bit of an error. Uh, first pond build, always going to come across an error. Here, these are not interlocked. Um, now, usually when you build a sleeper pond, you would overlock them, but due to the sizing of the frame, the concrete collar, I couldn't overlap them. Um, now, I admit it was a bit of an afterthought. Um, not the greatest thing in the world. Um, but I'm thinking up on the inside here, putting some heavy duty brackets like this one down here, and then getting some uh, tin block screws and screw them all together. Um, and then maybe along here, get some support struts. I've got like spare bits of timber that might go there. Um, but if I go and get in, you can see. A fair old size pond now. Um, two more layers, 
should hopefully bring it up to the top of the filter or thereabouts. Um, pond measures roughly around 14 foot by 8 foot by about 4 foot deep. Um, hopefully you can still see me, my head's not chopped off. Um, as I say, the ends aren't interlocked, but hopefully we'll get some heavy duty brackets in there. Um, I'm hoping the weight of the sleepers as well will hold them down. Um, but we'll see what happens. I've got a local carpenter up the road, so he's going to have a look, see if he can help um, strengthen it. But hopefully, with the strong heavy duty L brackets uh, and the weight of these sleepers, uh, it should hold. Well, I'm hoping, anyway. Um, it'll be a bit crap if uh, everything exposed, but touch wood does not happen. Uh, as I say, the bottom drain is now in, so the carpet has been cut um, so that I can put the liner into that. Um, so it's looking good. Not sure where I'm going to have the, the return. I was thinking possibly over here somewhere, although here's quite a nice place if the seating area can go over there then it would be nice to have the water flowing this way. Uh, future plans will be to have a backy shower here. Um, we can cut this back, uh, maybe have some art here, I don't know, maybe two coys and a backy shower so it frames it. Um, but you know, we're not at that stage yet so we'll just concentrate on getting these sleeper, sleeper frame finished. Once that's done, then we can uh, look at getting a liner. Um, my bank account is currently hating me. Um, but you know, I'm probably one of the younger toy keepers on these Facebook forums and whatnot, so doing the best of what I can with what I have. Um, now you know, everyone said, you know, <laughs> you should have interlocked the sleepers. I know I should have, but hopefully I can bring it back um, with the heavy duty L brackets. But yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, so a couple more layers of sleepers should bring it up to about four foot. Just deep enough, like I'll have to climb out and climb in again. Um, but yeah, so that is the insides of the pond so far. Uh, now over here, uh, I'd like to flatten this out and then this will be a seating area of some sort. So let me get out. So when you're sitting on the seating area, you look straight down at the pond, thinking of having the back of your shower just here, um, coming through. Might fit an easy pod or something, just to give some extra filtration, not sure yet, but not thinking about that, just thinking about step by step. Next up is obviously the last bit of sleepers. Um, and interlocking them and securing them as strong as possible. Um, I'm going to use the CL2, I believe it is, 4-bay filter uh, with a dry mounted pump. So, yeah, so pump bill's looking good. Um, lockdown is proving pretty pretty productive at the minute. Um, but yeah, you know, some schoolboy errors. But, you know, we can always get by with what we have. And any mistakes I make on this pond, hopefully I won't make on the next pond. So, fingers crossed, but that's all for now. Um, just a little update on the pond so far. So, um, as you can see, I managed to put the underlay in. Um, so, got pretty thick underlay to be fair, uh, which is quite good. Um, so today, hopefully the Liner is gonna go in. We've got a few of the lads to come around. But the one problem I had. Oh, it's not too bad now. But this, when I opened it this morning, it was absolutely filled, absolutely filled to the top with um, with water. And you can see it's still dripping in. Um, I'm hoping that today. Um, I can get the liner in, um, cut the hole in the bottom drain, um, and then at least the liner's in. 
so that when I come to actually seal the bottom drain, I'm hoping that, you know, apparently next week or the week after, it's meant to get pretty hot. So then I'm guessing that most of the water will either drain away or it will dry up. But the turtle pond is more like a mud soup right now. Um, yeah, it's pretty... Everywhere is just full of mud and crap. But hopefully we can get the pond liner in today. And then... Probably the weekend, so Saturday, Sunday maybe, then I can get the, the bottom drain actually sealed in. But I'm sort of hoping a little bit that this rain, heat, rain, heat, uh, means that these sleepers are kind of locking themselves together. Um, everything seems to be pretty sturdy. So I know me kicking it's not much, but <laughs> a little bit of a test. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so I've got the boys coming over in a bit. Um, garden's looking pretty clear. Um, that needs to be cleared out. Turtle Pond's gonna have a little picket fence going all the way around. Um, and then here I'll probably plant these two areas. Um, probably plant them with some flowers or whatever. Here, it's gonna just get graveled out. At the back here, I might have a little house of some sort. But yeah, so hopefully today we can get the pond line in. Because it's currently sitting down there on the lawn. Um, but it needs about two, three people, I'd say three or four people to lift it up. Because it's pretty damn heavy. So, yeah, hopefully we can get that done today. So the last time there was an update, the underlay was just put in. Um, now, the boys did come over in the end. Um, so thanks to Danny and Tom for coming and help. Because uh, it's a, it was a pretty heavy liner to be fair. Uh, never kind of bought anything this quality. You usually go for the PVC, but this time went for the EPDM. Uh, first pond build, first proper koi pond build. So, you know. There's no point slacking on materials. Pond liner is now in and it's been filling up. Um, I don't know how much you can see really with the camera. Uh, this white stuff uh, is the air bubbles because um, I don't have a dechlorinate, it's just coming straight out of the tap. Um, I spoke to a few people um, and they said, look, you can either, depends how fast you want to put the fish in, you can either use dechlorinate and kind of put them back straight in or just let the pond run for a few days, which I'm going to do. Um, and the bottom is flat, you know, you can't really see this that well because there's no polarizer on the lens. But the bottom drain is in. Um, folds, that will hopefully be pushed into the corners. And then over here, I've just ordered a four inch gate valve uh, and connector. So the idea will be, I have the rubber, rubber boot going like this. Then I'll go to the four inch, um, four inch gate valve, and then another rubber boot to connect the valve to the filter. Now, as you can see, or might be able to see down there, you can just see the water just coming up. So I'll probably fill it to about here, um, and then I'll just leave, it, turn, the, turn the hose off and wait for the gate valve to arrive, because um, I need to, reason for the gate valve is so I can shut the pond off from the filter, because at some point I need to replace the waste valves for this filter. You wouldn't think it, but this pond has been filling up, well that's not too bad for the angle. Uh, this pond has been filling up since 8 a.m. this morning. Uh, now, I believe it's probably maybe something like half nine, 10 o'clock in the evening. So it's been filling up for a long time. I reckon maybe three, Four more hours for it to get near to, nearer to the top of that pipe. Um, but yeah, it's all finally coming together, and I just touched in as much wood that everything is uh, going to hold. Um, but it looks pretty pretty cool right now, actually. Um, never used the bottom drain before. Um, took the risky maneuver and decided to go for it. Um, I've a lot of advice online, so currently call it bottom drain. I'm not worried about aeration, I'll probably get an airing and stick an airing on top. Um, then that will go feed the 4-bay filter, return will just be a pump 
maybe pump it into a shower, I'm not sure yet, or just pump it back in. And then that little groove there, that's gonna be where the skimmer is gonna sit. Um, but when we get to that, we'll work it out. But I'll put that in just as it was almost at the top there. Um, and then I'll probably get in. Uh, it's gonna be freezing cold. But yeah, so some good, good progress update. And hopefully, give maybe a week, two weeks. Hopefully the fish will be in. Fingers crossed. So yeah, catch up with you when the next update is.